Time now, 6 o'clock, and currently on WJBF Live Life for 6 Radar. We'll begin your Wednesday morning. Uh, a few clouds, but also dry across the CSRA. Good morning, and thanks for watching your forecast by 7 a.m. Sunshine and temperatures cool at 53 degrees. Live from Television Park, this is WJBF News Channel 6. Good morning, Augusta. I'm Sean Cabbage Dodd. Thank you for joining us. Today is Wednesday, November 6th. Mary and Barkley have the morning off. Let's get right to it. Now on Good Morning Augusta, from the winners to new referendums, we have results from last night's key races straight ahead. Plus, what Georgia lawmakers and community activists are doing before a critical DACA hearing at the Supreme Court. And a civil lawsuit against the Department of Motor Vehicles in South Carolina, why it's accused of discrimination as GMA continues. And we continue with the first check of your weather on this Wednesday morning. Live look in right now from the Jiffy Lube Skyview Network camera. This is from Augusta Regional Airport at Bushfield. Uh, no rainfall right now on the Viper. We're dry in Saluda, South Carolina, in Waynesboro, Georgia. Dry pretty much all across the viewing area with no chance for rain in the forecast for today. Right now, temperature is at 51 degrees at Clarks Hill, 55 at Daniel Field, including New Ellington, 54 in Jackson, Aiken, a bit cooler in Harlem, Georgia this morning at 49. And one of the cooler spots in the metro is Thompson at 46 degrees. Today's weather headlines and a look at what we're tracking. Plenty of sunshine today. Rain moving back in for Thursday evening and get ready for a cool and also sunny weekend. Live Viper 7 day forecast coming up in a few minutes. All right, John, thank you so much. Coverage you can count on begins with Burke County voters saying yes to bringing fulfillment centers to the bird dog capital of the world. The main goal is to make the city of Waynesboro more attractive and to bring in more jobs and investments. It's already been approved by the county. Yesterday, more than 650 people voted yes to approve the extension of the Freeport tax exemption to e-commerce fulfillment centers. It's going to bring in revenue that's going to be help us to keep from raising taxes to our citizens, but then it was passing off the cost and then looking over things that's going to help benefit the city. And the mayor says that the city and county tax inventory on site and industrial plants. And because of this, the city never qualified for a small e-commerce distribution center. We are following several other races in our area, including the town of Blythe, Georgia in Richmond County. The top two vote getters of yesterday's race will be elected to the city council. They are incumbent Noel Carty Nega with 30 percent and Brent Weir with 21 percent. As voters in Blythe cast ballots in the city council race, their mayor and 2018 opponent were in court for the second time. Yesterday, Blythe's mayor, Philip Stewart, and Cynthia Parham went before the Georgia Supreme Court. Stewart won last year's election by four votes. Parham claims that some of Stewart's votes were obtained illegally. John Martin, a man said to be connected with Stewart's campaign, is facing criminal charges for buying votes and giving alcohol to a minor. The trial court has already ruled that they do not have enough evidence to show the votes in question would have changed the election outcome. Last year, there was some drama with the election. Do you think that impacted people coming out this year or not? I don't know about other people, but it didn't me because I was going to vote anyway. I feel like that's my responsibility as a citizen. I don't think it made any difference. I think the people that showed out last time will show up again this time. And the deadline for the Supreme Court's ruling is in March. In the city of Aiken, Mayor Rick Osmond, who was running unopposed, got reelected. In District 1, Gail Diggs won over Jeremy Stevens. And in District 3, Kay Brawl defeated John Brett. Two seats were up for grabs in Harlem for his city council. The incumbent, Greg Stokes, had 37% of the vote, while Al Reeves got 36% of the vote. For a full list of election results, just head over to WJBF.com. It's election coverage you can count on. Happening today, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp will make several stops in the CSRA. Beginning at 1 p.m., he will tour the Georgia Cyber Center and meet with local lawmakers. He's also expected to make a special economic development announcement and cut the ribbon at the opening of the Georgia Pacific Mill in Warrington. A bill banning nearly all abortions in South Carolina is headed to the Senate floor. The Senate Medical Affairs Committee approved the heartbeat bill on Tuesday. It will outlaw abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected, and that's usually about six weeks into pregnancy. The committee did restore rape and incest exceptions after some Republicans worry it might not pass without them.
In other local news, Augusta city leaders saying goodbye to plans for a large sculpture at Riverwatch Parkway and Alexander Drive. Yesterday, commissioners voted to reject both finalists and start the entire process over. City officials say that the two selected sculptures were heavily criticized, but the money for the art has been approved by the voter. Yeah, we've got the, uh, the uh, funds set aside, but as it is right now, we've really not done anything except invest time in it. And I certainly don't want to inspect, uh, invest millions of dollars in bad art. And the city will restart the project for art, the process on the art on Riverwatch Parkway, and then move to the second sculpture at Sandbar Ferry Road. This time, public input sections will be held for both sites. It's almost 6.06. Now it's time for a look at weather with meteorologist John Lynn. Good morning, John. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, everyone. Early this morning, a mostly clear sky. We have seen some areas of just a little bit of light fog. Uh, not that much of a concern currently as we take a live look in down Washington Road from the Jiffy Lube Scabby Network camera. You'll need a light jacket this morning in Waynesboro. Good morning. You're at 55 degrees. Cooler in Aiken by a degree at 54. Good morning, McCormick, South Carolina. You're a bit chillier right now at 49 degrees. Saluda at 46. And Washington and Lincolnton both this morning at 47 degrees. Your forecast coming up for today, hour by hour, by 8 o'clock this morning. Plenty of sunshine, light wind, and temps at 53 degrees. We'll warm it up to 60 by 10, middle 60s by 11, and by lunchtime today, sunshine and a nice 70 degrees. The average high for this time of year is 72, so we'll be right there by 2 this afternoon. And just a degree warmer than average by 3 and 4 o'clock. We'll max out with a high at 73 degrees. More rain is on the way, but will that last into the upcoming weekend? We'll let you know when. Coming up in just a few minutes. All right, John, thank you so much. In other news, our president is headed to Atlanta this week. He will be at the Georgia World Congress Center on Friday. The Black Voices for Trump Coalition aims to build a contingent of black voters who will support his reelection. The president is expected to highlight recent numbers that show low unemployment rates for black workers. This will be Trump's seventh visit to the Peach State since being elected. Georgia lawmakers, community activists, and DREAMers are being reminded to renew their DACA registration ahead of a Supreme Court hearing that could mean deportation, our Atlanta Bureau Chief reports. For the past seven years, DACA, or the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, has helped around 700,000 young immigrants get temporary protection in this country from being deported. But two years ago, the Trump administration ended the DACA program and heads to the Supreme Court next week. This week in Atlanta, the Latin American Association, as well as informed immigrants, are urging DACA recipients to renew their application. Without that, they could lose their driver's license, lose their jobs, or even face the threat of deportation. Georgia Dreamers, those who are part of the DACA program, make up about 20,000 people. Many of them say that they're not sure what to expect, and this uncertainty is certainly stressful. Losing DACA would mean losing our ability to work, our ability to drive, and I think that the biggest thing is that um, DACA has lifted the shadow of deportation from our, our shoulders, and so um, if DACA goes away, that would be, that would be a threat once, once more. The entire world knows that we're here, we're here to stay, and home is here. The United States is the only home we've ever known. It doesn't matter if you're from Mexico or the Philippines or um, from Nigeria. Undocumented people from, come from all over the world, DACA recipients come from all over the world, and next week on November 12th, we're all coming together in solidarity in Washington, D.C. The U.S. Supreme Court will hear arguments next Tuesday, November the 12th, about DACA and the fate of the program could be decided as early as June of 2020. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit the Chaudhry, back to you. And the Supreme Court did not stay the lower court's orders. That means that those who are currently or previously enrolled in the program can still submit applications to renew their DACA. That process takes about three months. Still to come. There are only 16 days left before the government runs out of money. Could we be heading for another government shutdown? I'm Trevor Shirley in Washington. I've got that story coming up ahead. TV's best new show. That's super sexy. Done is fun, interesting, We're killing it. and exciting. What am I paying you for? To be awesome. Stumptown, new tonight on ABC. This week on The People's Court, nanny drama. Both of you believe that this is going to be Mary Poppins. Everybody's going to get along. Now look at you. Plus, a bad breakup. She had me falsely arrested. 
Today at 10 on News Channel 6. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to take this car. The engine light just came on. What? I don't even know what an engine light means. Honey, I told my mom we'd be there. I don't see an engine light. Uh, um, the, the butler, butler did, did it. it. We know engine lights. Let Butler do it. Butler is always at your service. What does it mean to give your best? For us, it means mentoring our youth and providing them a brighter future. The Giving Your Best partners are so proud to honor volunteers who give their best to our community. Do you know someone who gives their best? Nominate them for a Giving Your Best award at WJBF.com. Giving Your Best is brought to you by Solve Specialty Polymers, South State Bank, University Healthcare System, and News Channel 6. That's my final offer. And cut. I'm a leading lady. The queen of cuisine. And just one of the girls. The all-new 2020 Ford Explorer. Built to stand out, born to roll. Now get 0 0.9 for 60 plus 2,500 bonus cash on the all new 2020 Explorer. The biggest Veterans Day sale is at family owned Just Beds. Save up to 50% store wide. Luxury Simmons Queen Mattress is now just $3.99. Just Beds is the CSRA's adjustable base headquarters. And right now, save up to $800 on Luxury Beauty Rest mattresses and adjustable sets. Buy in store or online and get free next day delivery. Plus, five year 0% financing. Nobody stocks more or sells for less than family owned Just Beds. Living together broke them up. What happened? It was a family of raccoons living in the basement. That just happened. Just happened. Y'all want to know if the raccoons are paying rent. Today at 3 on News Channel 6. If you think you couldn't afford luxury, now you can at Augusta Mitsubishi with this loaded out Mercedes Benz. Zero down, only $349 a month. No need to wait for a one day sale. Black Friday savings happening all month with guaranteed credit approval. Augusta Mitsubishi. Call, call now. And Congress has less than three weeks to agree on a spending bill or the government will face another shutdown. This comes as the president and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle dig in over impeachment. Trevor Shirley reports. On November 21st, the government runs out of money and President Trump isn't easing fears. Well, it depends, on, it depends on what the negotiation. I wouldn't commit to anything. Those negotiations are between the House and Senate over a spending deal that keeps the government funded. I don't think there is a responsible member of Congress from either party that would support a government shutdown. Now some lawmakers worry about another short-term fix instead of a long-term spending solution. I'm still pretty optimistic. What I'm afraid may happen is that we may kick the can until the end of the year. That would set up another shutdown showdown in just a few months. I would hope that uh, that Pelosi and Schumer and McConnell and McCarthy and Trump would all say we are not going to have a government shutdown. So we're stymied here and creating uh, problems that we thought we'd already solved uh, several months ago. But some Republicans say the president has nothing to do with averting a shutdown. It's really going to be up to Congress. I mean, can we get our act together? Can we put appropriation bills on his desk for him to sign? But the president can tip the scales. Back in 2018, President Trump refused to sign a spending bill without funding for his border wall. That led to a 35-day shutdown, and some experts fear that could happen again. I think earlier in the new year, though, uh, President Trump may think it's in his political advantage to close down the government and demand funding for his border wall. For now, the shutdown clock in Washington keeps ticking. But uh, we'll see what happens. Reporting in Washington, I'm Trevor Shirley. Virginia Democrats on Tuesday captured control of the state's General Assembly for the first time in two decades. Virginia was the only state in the country where control of the state legislator was on line was on the line with Republicans holding slim majorities in the state's House and Senate. With a Democratic governor in office for the next two years, the wins give Democrats full control of the state's government. They have also promised to pursue gun control policy, health care access, criminal justice reform, and increasing Virginia's minimum wage.
Time now for another check of your weather with meteorologist John Lynn. Good morning, friend. Good morning, my friend. Uh, earlier this morning, out of the bus stops, the kids will need a light jacket. We'll see a mostly clear sky, some areas of light fog possible, and 54 degrees. Plenty of sunshine during the afternoon today, with highs a degree above average at 73. Don't forget the wake-up forecast text alert is free. To get it, simply text WJBF Wake Up to 36729. at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries offer free design services to create your perfect room. It's the Veterans Day sale. Hurry in now to get great savings and our best financing options storewide. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Every year around this time, Waiter makes some very special deliveries. We call it Share Thanksgiving, and we deliver free hot meals to local families in need. It's our way to give thanks and to give back to those going through tough times. Every time you order from Waiter, we'll make a donation. Then during Thanksgiving week, we'll deliver delicious hot meals to local families in your community. The meals are free, but their appreciation is way more than payment enough. It is time for the game! Kino, that's easy. I pick 10 numbers, Kino picks 20. Match, match, match. Perhaps we cool things down a bit. Get it, Kevin. That's right. The more I match, the more I win. Win up to $100,000 every three and a half minutes playing Kino. Folks, you know, toy stores all over America have closed their doors forever. Ollie stepped up and purchased hundreds and hundreds of truckloads of excess toys. Let Ollie's be your closeout toy headquarters. This is the biggest and the greatest toy closeout in our history. We've got brands like Mattel, Parker Brothers, Hasbro, Play School, Fisher Price, Disney, and more, all at up to 75% off the fancy store price. We have well over $200 million of toys and trucks are rolling in daily. So hurry in now. Ollie's! Good stuff, Chief! The sizzle is back. Hurry into Bojangles and get two pork chop griller biscuits for just $5. Our savory grilled pork chop seasoned with a special dry rub with a little zip and a whole lot of flavor. Served sizzling hot on a Bojangles fresh buttery biscuit. That's enough flavor for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. For a limited time, try two of our pork chop griller biscuits for just $5. Bojangles, it's bo time, y'all. The experts at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries offer free design services to create your perfect room. It's the Veterans Day sale. Hurry in now to get great savings and our best financing options storewide. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. Good morning and thanks for watching. Time now 618. It is a Wednesday and we're getting ready for a beautiful sunrise this morning. Live look in right now from the Jiffy Lube Scabby Network camera here at Television Park showing all traffic moving along nice and smoothly up and down Bobby Jones Expressway and also a Wrightsboro Road. Right now out of the airport, Augusta Regional Airport we go. It is uh, mostly clear. We're at 53 degrees. Winds are uh, north now, northwest at 6. Humidity at 93% and the dew point at 51 degrees. Elsewhere across the being area, lower 50s in Aiken, lower 50s in Gibson, upper 40s in Lincolnson, McCormick and 55 degrees currently in Waynesboro. The average high for this time of year is 72. We got all the way up to 78, 79 degrees yesterday. It won't be that warm today. Look for highs of only 73 degrees. Right back where we should be on Thursday at 72. Then temperatures really drop down on Friday, down to 60. Our coolest day is Saturday at 57. Then that won't last long as we warm up Sunday and Monday with afternoon highs in the mid to upper 60s. Later today in your hometown of Aiken, South Carolina, mostly sunny, and we'll see highs of 72. Highs also of 72 in Gibson, right at 70 for the high in your hometown of Lincolnson and McCormick, and a few degrees warmer in Allendale and Sylvania with highs later today at 74 degrees. We picked up no rainfall yesterday out of the airport. That means we add to our November deficit close to a half inch below average now, and our yearly rainfall surplus just under two and a half inches 
above average. No chance for rain today. Dry on the Viper early on your Wednesday morning. Also dry across Georgia and South Carolina. To find rain, we have to head west across portions of eastern Oklahoma, western Arkansas, also southern Missouri, seeing some scattered showers and a few non-severe storms early this morning. Pretty quiet throughout the day today. We'll enjoy a mostly sunny sky all day. Maybe an extra cloud or two, but still mostly sunny through five. Conditions deteriorate overnight tonight. We'll see some cloud cover rolling in, but no rain early tomorrow morning by nine. Cold front begins to sweep through as we head towards after five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So as early as 6 p.m. tomorrow, we'll begin to see a few scattered showers and that rainfall will last or at least a chance thereof until around six o'clock tomorrow morning. It will still be cloudy. Then as we head towards the afternoon, gradually becoming mostly sunny, a little breezy and also dry. Your forecast by nine this morning, Sunshine in 55 by noon will be at 70. A beautiful afternoon by 5 today. Sunshine in 72 and mostly clear by 8 this evening and 65 degrees. Live up for 7 day forecast. Uh, increasing clouds for Thursday with a high of 72. Rain holding off until after around 5, 6 o'clock. A few scattered showers in the forecast Thursday night into early on Friday morning. During the afternoon, clearing with highs at 60. Going to be cold each weekend morning, Saturday and Sunday. Look for morning lows right at 34 to 33. Some of our northern locations will see the first temperatures below freezing. During the afternoon, Saturday, sunshine 57. Sunday warming up with a high of 65. Then a little warmer on Monday with a high of 67 degrees. All right, John, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And coming up, the first college football playoff rankings are out and Alabama may be ranked too high. Plus, the Ant-Man error begins on the hardwood for the Georgia Bulldogs. Sports is next. What's the weather like tomorrow? Who won last night? What's happening around town? Find out at WJBF.com. It's coverage you can count on anytime. Home of the free because of the brave. I'm attorney Mike Costello. Not just today, but every single day. Thank you to our veterans. At Haverty's, we know a mattress is more than something you sleep on. It's something you live on. And we want it to be perfect. Get the most out of your mattress with Haverty's Mattress Sale. Our experts will help you choose from a wide selection of top brands and we'll match any price. Right now, save up to $200 on Serta mattresses and save up to $400 on Beautyrest Black mattresses. Haverty's. Life looks good. The trees are trimmed, the halls are decked. This holiday showroom is our best yet. You're invited to Southern's Christmas Open House Friday and Saturday, November 8th and 9th. Reach into Santa's sack of savings for up to 20% off your entire purchase. Come stroll through our winter wonderland full of Christmas magic. Make a pit stop at the North Pole. Take a walk into our winter woodland area with white owls, foxes, and squirrels. Don't forget to check out Candy Cane Lane. Thousands of ornaments, hundreds of gifts. Augusta's best kept secret is Southern. Everything you need inside and out. Washington Road at Hillelie Farm Road, Evans. I'm attorney Mike Hostelo. If you've been injured and call our office, you'll always speak to a team member 24-7, nights and weekends. You'll get a call back within 25 seconds at attorneymikehostelo.com. Personal injury, personal attention. Now, sports coverage you can count on. Tuesday night, the first college football playoff rankings released. None of it really mattered in a couple weeks. But let's take a look at the top eight, what we saw last night. Ohio State number one. They're going to play Penn State eventually. LSU Alabama will meet this weekend. We see where Georgia is. Oregon, Utah will likely meet in the Pac-12 championship. So let's see. A new era begins for the Georgia men's basketball team. We'll call it the Ant-Man era. Anthony Edwards. I'll show you the highlights. He is the number one recruit in the history of Georgia basketball. Expected to be the first or second pick in the upcoming NBA draft. He's never played college basketball till last night. Didn't wait long. Strong in the lane there. Puts Georgia up two on Western Carolina. Then he got some help. Severe Wheeler to Tyree Crump all the way from Oconee County for that three. Dogs up four. Then Edwards, he's a guard. At some point you knew it was going to happen. His first career three as a dog. Puts him up four. He finished with 24 points, 10 rebounds, three steals, three assists. Looks like the real deal. Georgia cruised 91-72. Clemson hosting Virginia Tech. Brad Brownell meeting old friends. 20-game ACC schedule for teams this year. That's a lot. Tigers go to work. Alamir Dawes, the freshman, hits from deep. Puts the Tigers out in front early. Then the lone returning starter, Amir Sims, the junior. A little shake and bake for the jumper. Tigers still in front. 
Playing a little D2, Chase Hunter. Going to get the steal and get it back from Tevin Mack, one of their D1 transfers for the finish. But, well, Virginia Tech stole this one late. And they win 67-60. Spoil the opener. Other scores from around the area. Georgia Tech wins a thriller, comes back to beat NC State on the road, and Georgia Southern falls on the road to 24th rank. Auburn, NBA, first game back for Trey Young since his injury. Of course, his suspension, Jason Collins. Hawks be without him for 25 games for PEDs. Yeah, Jabari Parker started in his place, throws it down there, and the pass from Trey Young. We zoom ahead to the fourth quarter. Hawks down eight, not for long, though. Young, a pair of threes, gets the Hawks back in it, and then, well, guys, this is called putting them on skates. That defender has no idea where to go. Great feed to DeAndre Bembry. Hawks win 108 to 100. All right, you remember the cat, the black cat? that stole the show on Monday Night Football between the Cowboys and the Giants. He went viral. He had his own radio play-by-play -play call, became an internet sensation. It's pretty funny. He also found the end zone, probably took a nap, avoided security. Well, Demarcus Lawrence, Silver Bluff High School alumni from right here, uh, plays for the Cowboys, defensive end, big guy, $100 million contract, but not a fan of cats. The first thing that crossed my mind, no joke, is like, <laughs> they got bad luck now. It just turned on them, you know. Um, so I was like, man, the game over. Like, if a black cat runs on the damn foot field in it, and on a uh, Monday night football game, a black cat, like you might well call it quits, bro. Like y'all luck is terrible. So um, yeah, it was just bad luck, um, and yeah, that was it. Or good luck. I, I hate cats too, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> hurry up and get this cat before it gets to me. <laughs> He's a big guy, but he's he scared of cats. That cat was strutting, strutting out on that field. Uh, that does it for morning sports. Thank you, Brendan. And some of y'all may be chatting about this story around the water cooler. Sheriff's deputies in California on Monday gave a helping hand to a bear mm -hmm. while stuck dumpster diving. Mm -mm. The 400 pound dumpster diver is known around the area as T-Shirt. He got the nickname because of a white patch of fur on his chest. T-Shirt struggled a bit but eventually made it out unharmed with the help and encouragement of deputies. No, I'm not trying to do that. Mm. Not at that all. That is too scary. Yeah. It does look, I see the T-Shirt now. I see that. Very <laughs> nice. All right, let's take a look at your lake forecast coming up for today. Early this morning at Strom Thurmond, we'll see a mostly clear sky. Plenty of sunshine and temperatures at 51 degrees. For the afternoon, warming up to 70. Then this evening, clear and cool at 65. Augusta and Company, Augusta's newest attraction for visitors and locals. Come see the interactive experience center with featured tastings, demonstrations, Augusta merchandise, art galleries, and more. Augusta and Company, where company comes to visit. My Queensbury banker is Cassandra Darrisaw. Ever Faithful Church is the perfect customer. Queensborough is a trusted advisor for us. During the building campaign, we were able to advise and help them. It's a personal relationship, not just a bank thing. Our branch knows Bishop Williams and loves working with her. They strive for excellence, I'll give them a 9.5. Why not a 10? There's only one who's perfect. Queensboro is your community bank. Queensboro National Bank and Trust. Hickson's Roofing, family owned since 1984, are your local roofing professionals. We have you covered no matter what your needs may be from residential to commercial. We offer a free no obligation estimate plus a 10 year labor warranty and a lifetime warranty on all architectural shingles. We also work with major insurance companies and financing is available. We're local and only a phone call away. We'll be here to service you and your family for generations to come. Call us today because we always say, I'm David Hickson and if your roof needs fixing, call Mr. Hickson. University Hospital's minimally invasive technologies get you in, out, and on with your life. Because we know what's most precious to you. Time.
Storm season is upon us, and if your home feels the wrath of Mother Nature, Crosby Roofing, Gutters, Siding, and Windows has your home covered. Commercial or residential, no job is too big or too small. Count on Crosby for the care and repair of your home exterior. Trust Crosby for a clean job site, no upfront fees, and a lifetime warranty on shingles. For a free inspection and estimate, call or click now. Crosby Roofing, Gutters, Siding, and Windows. Quality you can look up to. Augusta and Company, Augusta's newest attraction for visitors and locals. Come see the interactive experience center with featured tastings, demonstrations, Augusta merchandise, art galleries, and more. Augusta and Company, where company comes to visit. This is WJBF News Channel 6. Good morning, Augusta. Hey, y'all. It's 630. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Sean Cabbage Talk alongside meteorologist John yes. Lynn. Mary and Barkley have the morning off. It is going to be a nice morning early this morning. You will need a light jacket before you head outdoors off to work and school. Right to your forecast we go. Mostly sunny early this morning. By 9 o'clock, we'll see those temperatures around the middle 50s. We warm it up to 70 by noon today, and the average high is 72. We'll be a degree above that by 3 this afternoon, topping out at 73. Beautiful day today, but cloud cover will move in for Thursday, and that means more rain. We'll have a look at your seven-day forecast coming up in a few minutes. All right, John, thank you so much. A bill banning nearly all abortions in South Carolina is headed to the full Senate. The Senate Medical Affairs Committee approved the heartbeat bill on Tuesday. It would allow outlaw abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected. That's usually about six weeks into a pregnancy. The committee did restore rape and incest exceptions after some Republicans worried it would not pass without them. Getting a traffic ticket in the Palmetto State can be a hassle and taking care of that ticket can be difficult, but not taking care of it can also have an impact. Our Georgia Reed Godfrey reports. Unpaid traffic tickets, operating an unlicensed taxi, and driving an uninsured vehicle are just a few reasons your driver's license can be suspended. And your ability to pay those fines and fees can determine whether you keep your license. In, in particular in a state like South Carolina where there's limited public transportation in most of our state, a license is a necessity. The Department of Motor Vehicles charges $100 per suspension, fines that may be difficult for some residents to pay. And getting a hearing for the suspension could also cost money. Regardless of whether you can pay or not, your license is suspended. Uh, reinstatement fees are imposed on top of those fees that you already owe for the traffic tickets. The Appleseed Justice Center joined a lawsuit on behalf of those residents. The organization alleges the DMV doesn't have a process to determine if a driver is able to pay those fines. So really somebody that doesn't have the money is stuck in this pattern of having their license suspended. And the result is that people lose jobs, people can't get access to health care. Burke County voters say yes to bringing a fulfillment center to the bird dog capital of the world. The main goal is to make the city of Waynesboro more attractive and to bring in more jobs and investments. It's already been approved by the county. Yesterday, more than 650 people voted yes to approve the extension of the Freeport tax exemption to e-commerce fulfillment centers. We're following several other races in our area, including the town of Blythe, Georgia, in Richmond County. The two top vote getters of yesterday's race will be elected to the city council. They are incumbent Noel Carty Nega, I should know how to say that by now, with 30%, and Brent Weir with 21%. And in the city of Aiken, Mayor Rick Osmond, who was running unopposed, got reelected. In District 1, Gail Diggs won over Jeremy Stevens. And in District 3, Kay Brawl defeated John Brett. Two seats were up for grabs in Harlem for a city council. The incumbent, Greg Stokes, had 37% of the vote, while Al Reeves got 36% of the vote. And for a full list of all of the election results, just head over to WJBF.com. It's election coverage you can count on. More than 2,000 pounds of drugs from South America ended up in Georgia. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers are calling it one of the biggest single seizure cocaine bust in the port of Savannah's history. The cocaine was found on a container ship docked at the Garden City Terminal of the Georgia port last Tuesday. The drugs were hidden in a container marked scrap metal. With 21 duffel bags filled with cocaine inside, the street value of the drugs is said to be $31 million. 
Happening today, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp will make several stops in the CSRA. Beginning at 1, he will tour the Georgia Cyber Center and meet with local lawmakers. He is also expected to make a special economic development announcement and cut the ribbon at the opening of the Georgia Pacific Mill in Warrington. And time for the Color of the Weather winner. It absolutely is. Today's Color of the Weather winner this morning is none other than Jack Baker from Lincolnton, Georgia. Jack, terrific job on the sunshine filled picture. If you would like to win a Front of the Forecaster coloring book, super easy. More information on how to get your picture to us on the web at WGBF.com forward slash Color of the Weather or just mail it to the address right there on your screen. Time now to find out what's coming up next on Good Morning America. Ready the forecaster forecasting plenty of sunshine today. Uh, let's say good morning and congratulations to our latest bobblehead and windy single combo winner. That goes to Lamar Baxley from Louisville, Georgia. You can be a winner just like Lamar. Sign up for your chance to win right now at WJBF.com. All right, now let's check and see what's coming up on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, from podcast guest to under arrest. She took advantage of people's generosity, and everyone's worst fear of a cancer diagnosis to get money for herself. Pennsylvania mom Jessica Ann Smith is facing jail time, accused by police of duping Good Samaritans out of more than $10,000 by claiming she had cancer. This morning, the podcasters who helped expose the case are speaking out to GMA. She was kind of going through like a cancer checklist where she was, you know, shaving the head so that, you know, it looks like she lost her hair during chemo. Um, you know, she was feeling sick. She was taking off of work because of, of her illness. It was almost too perfect. Coming up at 7 a.m., they'll tell us about the moment they suspected her story didn't add up and where the investigation stands today. With your GMA First Look, I'm Diane Macedo, ABC News, New York. This winter, you have the power to heal because your purchase of Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion supports the Vaseline Healing Project. Join us to help millions in crisis heal their skin. Yes, we all know. Women can do anything. And this morning. Good morning, angels. Good morning, Charlie. Smart, tough women take over the morning when Charlie's angels invade GMA. Ha. Only on Good morning. America. Right now during the Rooms to Go holiday sale, this stunning two-piece sectional from Cindy Crawford Home is only $13.88 or $24 a month interest-free. Plus, you can add a matching cocktail ottoman for only $99. Hurry into the Rooms to Go holiday sale. With Solvay, we're celebrating our first annual Citizens Day. We've got volunteers from the facility that's helping clean up the, the road here on Tobacco Road. And we're also visiting our local schools, Gracewood Elementary and Goshen Elementary, to talk about water conservation and solar power. We're getting out in our community and educating them on, on what they can do to help with the environment. We are so happy that Solvay came out today to do this for us here at Gracewood Elementary School and all of our students. Thank you, Solvay. Solvay Citizen Day 2019. There's nothing in this world like being a grandma. Devin stole my heart from the first time I held him in my arms. When his daddy passed away, my baby came to live with me, but it's been hard. My retirement check isn't enough to make ends meet, and I haven't been able to find work. It breaks my heart to see my grandbaby hungry. Without Golden Harvest Food Bank, we'd never make it through. You can help feed the hungry in our community. Donate today at goldenharvest.org. Like all of us, CNT Foundations believes in getting the job done right, no matter what it takes. We believe in taking the road less traveled and taking no shortcuts to achieve a common goal. We believe in working to protect the ones we love from the dangers they might not see. CNT protects your crawl space from mold, musty odors, and structural damage so you can protect what matters most. CNT Foundations. Right now during the Rooms to Go holiday sale, just $6.88 gets you any of these stylish dining sets, including a table with four chairs or this bar height set with three stools. Hurry in to the Rooms to Go holiday sale. 
Actress Emma Watson has an answer for why she's not married. In an interview with British Vogue, the Harry Potter actress says that she's very happy as a single woman, but prefer the name, quote, self-partnered instead of single. Watson says that she made that decision after feeling stress and anxiety over turning 30. Singer Akon will launch his own cryptocurrency. It's called Acoin, and he plans to market it mostly in Africa. He plans to launch it in the first few months of 2020. The singer says he hopes it will help, especially the youth in Africa, overcome some issues they may have. Akon also says he hopes that the cryptocurrency will help launch new businesses on the continent. And Frozen 2 is in theaters for a few more weeks, but is already setting records. Pre-sale tickets hitting the internet Monday, and both Fandango and Adam tickets say that it has the best first day pre-sale numbers of any animated film. Mm. That tops this year's Toy Story 4 and last year's Incredibles 2. Frozen 2 hits the big screen November 22nd. That is going to be a big film. I it can is. already tell, you know. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the weather question of the day this morning, and we'll have the answer coming up. Any of a variety of allergies, such as pollens, grass, or even dust that is carried by winds are called what? Is the answer A, neuroallergens? Is it B, aeroallergens? Is it C, arid allergens? Or D, capillary allergens? We'll have the answer and your Live Life Seven Day forecast on the way. People ask me all the time, why do you get on top of that truck? Big trucks can cause serious injuries and damage people's lives. Cutting the trucking companies down to size and making them pay you what's fair is what I do. And standing on top of the truck represents that. If you get hurt by one of these trucks, if you hire us, you're going to come out on top. One call, that's all. Call 1-800-CALL-KEN. Want to take your X5 to the next level? Now you can with X5 Vantage, giving you enhanced performance and protection. When devices are connected to your home's Wi-Fi, they're protected, helping keep outsiders from getting inside. Plus, you get unlimited data, so you can stream, surf, and game all you want. With confidence, you can get coverage where you need it most. That's X5 Vantage. Get started with Xfinity Internet for $20 a month for 12 months, or get four times the speed for just $10 more a month. Call, click, or visit a store today. At Gerald Jones Subaru, we know that your car is more than just a car. Your Subaru is the carrier of your camping equipment, the transporter of your dog, the key to your next big adventure. Well, some of us are crunchy. And others call our dogs our babies. And some of us just appreciate safety, quality, and style. We all have one thing in common. We, we drive, drive Subaru. Subaru. Experience the Subaru Outback today at Gerald Jones Subaru. The players, the fans, 30 minutes of highlights. Only one show in the CSRA has it all. Football Friday night, Friday at 11.35 on News Channel 6. Powered by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Just fans, it feels so good. The biggest Veterans Day sale is at family-owned Just Beds. Save up to 50% store-wide. Luxury Simmons Queen Mattress is now just $3.99. Just Beds is the CSRA's adjustable base headquarters. And right now, save up to $800 on luxury beauty rest mattresses and adjustable sets. Buy in-store or online and get free next-day delivery. Plus, five-year, 0% financing. Nobody stocks more or sells for less than family-owned Just Beds. For the latest, most accurate information when severe weather Weather approaches. Trust the experience of George Myers and the live Viper 6 weather team. Weather coverage you can count on. Color the Weather is brought to you by your Children First Partners, Bridgestone Aiken County Plan, and WJBF News Channel 6. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. Uh, good Wednesday morning and thanks for watching. Time now 643. A beautiful live look in right now from the Jiffy Loop Scammy Network camera. This is from the clubhouse at SRP Park looking across the beautiful Savannah River into downtown Augusta. Right now at Augusta Regional Airport at Bushfield, uh, winds are northwest at 6. We're sitting at 53 degrees, humidity at 93 percent and the dew point at 51 degrees. Elsewhere across the viewing area, you'll certainly need a jacket this morning in Saluda as well as Lincolnson at 46. One of the cooler locations, Washington Thompson. 
Thompson right now at 45, and lower 50s from Aiken at 52, Waynesboro 54, and upper 50s currently in Allendale, as well as Sylvania, both at 59 degrees. It was warm, nice and warm yesterday. We saw highs topping out at 78 degrees, and uh, this afternoon we'll see those highs maxing out at 73. Right back to average on Thursday at 72. The temperatures really begin to drop off Friday. Highs of only 60. Saturday only 57, and we warm back up nicely Sunday with a high of 65. Upper 60s Monday, and then cooling down again big time for Tuesday with highs only in the upper 50s. Highs later today in your hometown of Barnwell, South Carolina, with plenty of sun, will top out at 72. 73 for the forecast at high this afternoon in your hometown of Louisville, Washington, Lincolnson, McCormick, even Saluda, all at 70 and 71 degrees later today in Edgefield. We picked up no rainfall yesterday out of the airport. That means we add to our November deficit close to a half inch below average and our yearly rainfall surplus now just under two and a half inches above average. No rainfall currently on the Viper. Dry from Sparta to Evans, dry from Aiken to Barnwell. Also dry currently across Georgia and South Carolina. To find any rain, we have to head out west around portions of western and northern Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma. Also some scattered showers and a few non-severe storms early this morning across southern Missouri. None of that here across Georgia and South Carolina throughout the day today. Early this morning, we'll call it mostly sunny. We'll see a mostly sunny sky through 5 this afternoon. Cloud cover increasing tonight during the overnight. Early tomorrow morning by 9, we'll call it mostly cloudy, but also dry for the majority of the day. By 5 o'clock, this cold front begins to push through, and this is where we'll begin to see some rain as early as 6, right through around midnight into early tomorrow morning, uh, close to 7 a.m. We'll see a few light showers across our southern line counties. Everybody else will be mostly cloudy, and then we'll get you back to sunshine as we head towards Friday afternoon, and that means a nice weekend as well. Your forecast by 9 this morning, sunshine at 55 by noon, sunny in 70. We'll be up to 72 by 5 this afternoon, and back down to 65 by 8 o'clock this evening under a mostly clear sky. Live after 7 day forecast. Cloud cover again will continue to increase Thursday with a high of 72, but the rain holding off at least until after 5 in the afternoon. Scattered showers early on Friday morning, but the afternoon dry and clearing out much cooler with a high of 60. It will be cold Saturday and Sunday morning. Lows will be in the lower 30s. Afternoon highs Saturday a bit chilly at 57. Then Sunday nice, sunshine 65. We'll keep it sunny for Monday with a high of 67 degrees. All right, Sean, it is time now to find the answer to the weather question of the day. Any of a variety of allergies, such as pollens, grass, or dust carried by winds, are called what? Is the answer A, neuroallergens? Is it B, aeroallergens? Is it C, arid allergens? Or D, capillary allergens? Just to let you know, D, as you know me, D is never the answer. Mm -hmm. So we try to give you a little bit better chance. Yeah. So, and I'll give you another hint if you'd like. Two of the words, two of the answers are completely made up. The words do not exist. But focus on the term winds. Hmm. Maybe B. I know I said B in the break. Yes, the I correct answer to for today is B, Yay. Aero Allergens. Nice job. All right, time now to say good morning. And congratulations to Miss Connie Glosson from Martinez. Connie, you're the latest winner of the Good Morning Augusta Coffee Club mug. And congratulations, Connie. You've also won four tickets to the Columbia County Fair. And you, too, can be a coffee club winner. It's easy. Just log on to our website, wjbf.com slash coffee club, or put your name and address on a postcard and mail it to the address on your screen. And coming up in just a few minutes, we'll have a look at your workday forecast. Local news, live traffic updates, push alerts. It's all on the News Channel 6 mobile app. Download it for free on the App Store and Google Play. Webster defines teacher as one whose occupation is to instruct, but a great teacher does so much more than instruct. They challenge our children to improve and excel every day. They listen, solve problems, and encourage their students to make good choices. They inspire them to reach for their dreams. A great teacher is a role model for their students. I'm Larry Frails with Kroger. If you know a deserving teacher that inspires and encourages their students, nominate them for the Golden Apple Award at WJBF.com. I'm David Eicholtz. When we first meet with a client after an accident, there are two things they want to know. How much is this going to cost and what will the result be? At the Eicholtz Law Firm, it's free to speak with us about your case and free while we work on your case. There are no fees or costs unless we win your case. Over the years, we've recovered millions of dollars for our clients. Call 222-2222, the Eicholtz Law Firm, thejusticelawyer.com. So what did you learn?
learn in school today? Our teacher told us what to do if there's an emergency. You call 999-9999. If you have an emergency, call 911. If you've been hurt in an accident, call all nines. Call George Sink Injury Lawyers now. I got hurt in a car wreck and some aggressive insurance guy wants me to sign some papers. Stop. Think. Our job is to maximize the result of your case. Big case or small, one call, that's all. Call 1-800-CALL-KEN. My mom always told me, actions speak louder than words. She was a school teacher. My dad joined the Navy and helped prosecute the Nazis at Nuremberg. Their values are why I walked away from my business, took the giving pledge to give my money to good causes, and why I spent the last 10 years fighting corporate insiders who put profits over people. I'm Tom Steyer, and I approve this message because right now, America needs more than words. We need action. Welcome back at 650. Here are the six things you need to know before you have the door. The votes are counted as some local elections are decided. In Aiken, in the city council race in District 1, Gail Diggs wins re-election. She defeated challenger Jeremy Stevens in Dif District 3. Kay Brawls is the winner over John Brett. In Columbia County, two seats were up for grabs on the Harlem City Council. Greg Stokes will serve another term. And Al Reeves also declared a winner. In Burke County, incumbent Mayor Greg Carlswell is elected for another term. He beat out his opponent, Brenda Lewis, with 61% of the vote. A bill banning nearly all abortions in South Carolina is headed to the full Senate. The Senate Medical Affairs Committee approved the heartbeat bill on Tuesday. It will outlaw abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected. The committee did restore rape and incest exceptions. More than 2,000 pounds of drugs from South America ended up in Georgia. It's the biggest single seizure cocaine bust in the Port of Savannah's history. The cocaine was found on a container ship docked at the Garden City Terminal of the Georgia ports. The drugs were hidden in a container marked scrap metal with 21 duffel bags filled with cocaine inside. That street value, $31 million. And today, Governor Brian Kemp will tour the Georgia Cyber Center and meet with local lawmakers. Kemp is expected to make a special economic development announcement and cut the ribbon on the opening of the Georgia Pacific Mill in Warrington. Well, good morning as we're getting an early start to the middle of the work week here on this Wednesday morning. Hump day, looking at our roadways. Do be aware of deer this morning. A couple of reports across the river in New Wellington, also in Montmorency, cars colliding with deer this morning. In Aiken, Whiskey Road, Pine Log Road, Hitchcock Parkway, traffic moving without delay. No delays on the busy Jefferson Davis Highway, Washington Road, Riverwatch Parkway, Bobby Jones Expressway, as well as Mike Patchen Highway and Doug Bernard Parkway. We're seeing no traffic delays. Watch for the school buses in the WGAC 24-hour news traffic and weather center. For News Channel 6, this is Zach Taylor. And your workday forecast for today by 9 o'clock this morning, sunshine and 55. By noon, mostly sunny and 70. And then by 5 this afternoon, plenty of sunshine and temperatures at 72.
And forget the eggnog, try toasting the holiday season with a spicy Sprite or Coke. There are two new limited edition holiday flavors to sip on, Winter Spice Cranberry Sprite and Cinnamon Coca-Cola. The new Sprite flavor was actually created based on ideas from Sprite fans. The new cinnamon flavor is the first ever holiday flavor for the U.S. Mm. Mm. A spaceship on water, that's what Porsche's lavish new super yacht is being called. The Royal Falcon 1 is a whopping 135 feet and took nearly 10 years to create. It has four guest cabins, a master bedroom with its own private deck, a jacuzzi, a bar, an observation lounge. You can find the price by putting in an application to buy the boat. Oh, you can't even, oh, okay, I see. They don't even, we don't even know what the price is yet, do we? No, we don't. You imagine renting that out for just like a week or something? Oh, oh that would be so friend. cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at your seven-day forecast coming up for today. We'll see plenty of sunshine. Highs this afternoon, a degree above average at 73. Cloud cover will increase throughout the day on Thursday, but the rain will hold off at least until after five in the afternoon. We'll have a cold front move through Thursday evening. And that will bring us a few scattered showers. Overnight lows Thursday morning make that Friday morning down to 54. Friday morning, mostly cloudy. We'll see a few showers through at least until around 9 a.m. in the morning. Gradual clearing taking place during the afternoon on Friday. Breezy, also a little cool with highs during the afternoon at 60 degrees. It is going to be cold early Saturday morning as well as Sunday morning with lows of 34 degrees on Saturday as well as Sunday lows down to 33. Some of our northern lying cities and counties will see those morning lows Saturday and Sunday morning below freezing for Saturday afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, much, much cooler than average with a high of only 57. Sunday beginning to warm up during the afternoon with a high of 65. Monday, plenty of sunshine warming up with a high of 67 and then getting cold again Thursday morning. Make that Tuesday morning lows down to 39, but the afternoon sunny, very cool again with a high of only 58. All right, sounds good, John, and thank you so much for joining us today. That's all the time we have for you today. We're back in about 30 minutes with an update. Good Morning America is up next. Have a terrific day, and we'll see you in just a few minutes.